Hello, and welcome to the watering hole. Thanks for checking out this clip. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that'll make the baby Jesus cry. And I know how much you guys love making the baby Jesus cry. And Naramda puts, I, I think this is them saying, hurry the fuck up and talk about Bobo. Bobo, 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 Representative Lauren Boebert's son was facing possible felony charges and string of vehicle break-ins. Uh, the oldest son of U.S. Representative Lauren Boebert is suspected of being part of a group of friends who use credit cards stolen from cars to make purchases at gas stations and McDonald's, according to court documents released Wednesday. Yeah, so with regards to Lauren Boebert's son, I don't actually care that her teenage son did stupid, stupid teenage son stuff. Like, yeah, stealing card credit cards from people's cars and using them to buy stuff at the gas station, McDonald's, whatever. Um, that's a bit further in the stupid direction than most teenagers I am aware of that do stupid things. But like I was a teenager. I did stupid shit. I did stupid shit. Like walking to a Sonic with friends to get oh. burgers at two in the morning. Uh, so when I was, how old was I? 2001 i was born in 86 so 96 was 10 so i was about 14 or 15 i want to say it was closer to 14 uh because 15 i don't know in my mind 15 is like this is more okay or whatever but um i had made a friend on the internet who lived in california and he paid for me to go to california to meet him okay and, and it was not a creepy old man pretending to be a, a young teenager that was trying to, you know, do bad things to a kid on the internet. So like, I guess I lucked out there, but um, part of the only reason I was allowed to go is that they also paid for my mother to go out as well. So like I had an adult chaperone, so it wasn't quite as stupid as I made it sound at first. But while we were there, um, we were at an apartment in downtown LA for one of the nights that we were there. And me and this other kid decided we were just going to like start walking around downtown LA in like two in the morning, just wandering the streets. And it was not a good neighborhood. Um, so yeah, that was a stupid thing. So, so the most, the most you did was sketchy stuff that could have gotten you hurt, which is well yeah. in line with like the normal shit that kids do because going out living, living in a, uh, well, I mean, for 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 anybody who's lived up lived in Pensacola, if I call Montclair a ghetto, it it is like objectively living there and going out at two in the morning was not a smart idea to begin with. Yeah. Uh, but going out at two in the morning and walking two miles uh, to a Sonic was a really stupid idea. And doing it with a whole bunch of friends of similar age didn't make the idea smarter. <laughs> but it was uh. idea that we did often. So Stratahawk says VR got lucky from the internet. Uh, yeah, in more than one way. So not only did I not get raped as a child when I did the thing that you're not supposed to do absolutely 100% never on the internet, um, I also met my current partner on the internet. So I got lucky on the internet twice. Yeah, I met my partner on the internet too. We're very lucky. Yeah. Um, we streamed together and I went, that's fun. We'll date. <laughs> that's not quite how it went, but... <laughs> I, no, that's how it went for us. That's how it went for y'all. That, that's our love story. You you streamed together once, and then you went cool. Let's bang. Oh, speaking of loving those, we're we're never going to get to the news articles today. Nope, so not here, once. Here's the thing. My my disclaimer earlier was that I don't fucking care about Lauren Boebert's son. I just think it's funny that she is all over the Bidens and all the crimes they commit. Meanwhile, everybody in her family has a mugshot, including her. So. It's just funny to me. Um, the yeah. Biden crime family syndicate. Meanwhile, look at my crimes. And uh, yeah, me trying to put a pin in that so I could go on my tangent uh, successfully made me forget my tangent. So there we go. Back to the main story, I guess. You did it. Yay. Um, yeah, he was wearing a hoodie from his mom's restaurant uh, when he was doing this. So that that's how they caught him. It was like, oh. That hoodie is from that Lauren Boebert restaurant. Um, now, one of the things that um, struck me as rather odd. So he's facing possible felony charges of criminal possession of identification documents. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He also faces over 15 additional misdemeanor and petty offenses. Um, but then uh, so Lauren Boebert went on record saying like. 
you know, I, I want him to face consequences for his actions. But um, defense lawyer Peyton Miller told Magistrate Jill Mc, uh, McConaughey, McConaughey uh, that prosecutors had agreed for his release without bail and um, no charges have been filed against him. So talk about your privilege, man. Like, oh, you're a congressperson's kid? Yeah, no bail for you, even though, like, Congress people can definitely afford to pay some bail. And <laughs> also, we're not going to press charges. So, like... So, just what? there's just a whole bunch of privilege added on to that for no reason. So, that doesn't really, uh... That doesn't really track with her saying that, oh, he's got to... Got to uh, face consequences for his actions. And, um, she also... What was interesting when I was reading her statement about it, it actually reminded me a lot of uh, Biden's statements regarding Hunter. So, like, he's been through some very difficult public challenges for a young man and the and uh, being the subject of attention that he didn't ask for. Uh, breaks mm. my heart to see my child struggling in this situation, especially when he's been provided multiple opportunities to get his life on track. I'll never give up on him, and I'll continue to be there for him. Like, that's all the same shit Biden said. That's how Biden talks about Hunter. Um, but Hunter may or may not have made money in China and or Ukraine. We forgot which one every time we talk about it. Yeah. So, so. he's he's evil. Yeah. So it's just, also it's Marjorie just, Taylor Greene got to show porn of him and and hasn't faced severe consequences. You for bring that. you bring that up every opportunity you get. She is in. She is my district rep. I don't know. Like, I'm start. I'm starting to think that one of your kinks might be seeing Marjorie Taylor Greene hold porn. My kink is when my representative brings porn to Congress. <laughs> Can you imagine if that is somebody's kink? I can't get off unless this... No, sorry, that would have to be a fetish. I can't get off unless this very specific situation happens. Otherwise, it just isn't a real nut. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, no, that's, that's, that's not a kink that I want to have. The nut is real. Actually, I mean... Isn't that kind of the nature of kinks, though, is that the ones that you don't have are the ones that you don't want to have? Because if you would want to have it, then you just would. Yeah. Because, like, I'm not into feet. I don't look at a foot and go, like, I wish I was into that. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I guess if I had a partner who was into feet, um, then I might wish that I was into feet from the perspective of, like, I, you I would know, want to be I know that my partner, partner is into this, so I want to do that for them. Yeah. But uh, I also have a partner who's not in defeat, so uh, I don't have to worry Every, about that. Everything just kind of works out. Mm -hmm. Well, the first one ties back into our first news item. Is this like when it tied back to AIDS? Uh, I don't think so. But um, no. So remember, our first news item was Lauren Bobert's son got arrested and he's been doing crimes and everyone in the Bobert family has a um has a mugshot well on the day that lauren bobert's son was arrested this is the only reason i picked that story by the way because i don't fucking care what a teenager did like teenager did stupid thing big news Woo! no big deal but on the exact day that her teenage son was arrested for doing crimes lauren bobert tweeted this out the Biden crime family will go down as the most corrupt political family in American history. Meanwhile, the Bobur crime family starting out with crime. Literally a crime family. You can find a mugshot for all of them. It's always projection. Almost 100% of the time. Yeah. It is 50% of the time projection. I just have to keep on changing the percentage every single time so the stats make no sense. Stats never make sense. No, they don't. They make numbers. Yeah. So this, I, I think this is the first time in Twit Tweets history where I've chosen a news item specifically to make a tweet more funny. <laughs> to be fair, it is a very unique way of going about things as oh. opposed to the usual, this person said something stupid, so we're going to make fun of them. That's it. 